Strutting his stuff. Look at the size of that. He's like a dinosaur. He's, really he's got tiny. a big. He's got a big beard. Look at that beard. He's very pretty. This is a location where they found other tracks before and had vocalizations. And as you can see, we've got deer tracks here, moose tracks, and uh, a really interesting trackway that starts here. And did you measure this already? Or I, I, Mike, I, yeah, I haven't touched yeah. anything. I wait, it's I a wait. good four to five feet. We're going to measure yeah. it, but we've got three tracks, one there, one over here. Now, the thing is, uh, sometimes when a moose steps in, they, they step in and do one of these kind of things like that, and when they come back out, it fills okay. it with water. And it, but the other possibility that we have here is you could have had something bipedal walking through here. I would have expected more tracks, but we've just lost the snow. In fact, is there's some, still some snow around here. You, you guys' ponds are still frozen. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you could have had something to walk through here that would have left impressions in this, because this would have been thawed out, and they may have not left impressions on the rest of the ground because it was frozen. I gotta say, but maybe 40 yards, it was just a tree, just, it was just <laughs> And I figured it was a moose. Um, and after it stopped, good 15 20 minutes I walked over there no rubs on the trees um which you would expect if a moose was moving I was thinking it was raking its antlers moving the tree around and it didn't I was up there dead bow hunting up there and I walked up over the ridge and I got this this nasty smell of like a, a wet horse um it just it really caught my nose I looked around, looked around, figuring I was going to see like a moose or something, but yeah. there was nothing around. It was something I never smelled before. So I was like, whoo. We're on day two. I've had a chance to analyze these tracks. Especially they look good. They're in line. I'll be able to tell you got uh, just under five feet, five and a half feet. So that's pretty consistent, right? And they look like tracks, but you can't get any detail out of them. This is clearly a, a moose track here. And if you notice, from this track to this track, five, five, three, by foot. So pretty consistent. I have to conclude that that those three are probably moose from a moose. And they're just slides because it's on a slight hill. Well, yeah. What happened was the ground was the, the ground. Was, I mean, the ground wasn't as soft as it is now. When that moose came down through here, he hit that walla, that that wet spot there, and you know by driving in. The motion from the mud from his hoof going in from here and the leg going there kind of gives you a pseudo footprint and then of course when the foot pulls out it, the material is soft enough that it slops back in it doesn't show that deep imprintation from the hoofs so it looks like a and it's also still the, filled with water so you really we really can't even get really in there it's really tough and here's the thing the witness has reported uh, earlier having seen a single track down here that had toes there's a lot of game here. I mean, a ton of game. There's bear, deer, turkey, grouse. I mean, we just did a little circuit, 15 minute hike the other day, and I found evidence of all those critters. They had no doubt that they saw something pretty damn strange down here because there's a lot of supporting evidence from the surrounding area, from other independent researchers that are also indicating that there's some type of Bigfoot phenomenon activity taking place here. And they seem really legit and sincere. But unfortunately, this trackway right here, I would say with 90% 90, 90 certainty is, is a moose. Okay, so we think we've deduced that those tracks, uh, and this is a really good lesson for people who think that everything is the great beast. If we took the time to follow that track. How far did we go here? A couple hundred feet? Yeah, at least. Yeah. So the ground here was soft enough that we know critters going through here are leaving impressions, and we've got an individual animal, a good sized moose, because it's a consistent, you know, four and a half to five and a half foot stride. And I was just talking with Craig, and the thing is that, you know, even though it's a four legged animal, the right and left fronts and rear hoofs tend to go into the same trackway. So a moose will just leave what looks like two tracks, like it's walking, you know, but obviously the moose is not walking upright. Right. So having followed that, we come to a similar set of conditions and, and we see what looks like. 
you know, almost exactly what we got in the other. Those other trackways. It's a little shorter. I mean, well, not too much. Yeah, about 14 inches. Yeah, 13, 14. 13, 14 yeah. So what we've got happening here is when this moose is stepping in, it's stepping in, and then when it moves forward, it does one of these kind of things with its forearm. It's down there deep enough. The conditions are such that then the material in here fills in, so you don't you're not seeing that. Craig and Kyle saw uh, this weird weird creature. Go up. Go up to the left. And we're getting their buddy Nick to go over to where they first spotted the thing. Keep going up. It's an interesting spot to hunt. They've got a lot of visibility here, as you can see, and it's kind of a, there's right, a lot I'll of moose right sign in here. We're at roughly 1,700 feet elevation. It's pretty mountainous, really steep, uh, characterized by a lot of cattail swamps. We just found some cattails. High rainfall, and I've seen evidence of quite a bit of mushrooms. So we've got an intact mycelium thallus uh, in the soil. It was walking straight down. He's kind of not taking the same path, but that's basically exactly how it was walking. A little bit more turned, like that way. Now, compared to his size, how, how oh, large? Oh, was it? much bigger. I'm saying six and a half, seven feet. Wow. Yeah, it was big. And as soon as it got, keep going. As soon as it got like right there, it just turned, and you can see it just walked right straight up. Okay, walk away from us now. Walk away. Take a right. Now, did it keep trees behind, between you and it when it walked away? It was like in between, in between. Huh. So you guys got a pretty good view of the asset back into this thing, huh? Right. Yeah. Like I said, I mean, you could actually see the, the, the whole um, rare muscles and everything. Yeah. And the biggest thing that I should have focused on was this pads on its feet, but I didn't. I was just looking at the, the basic size of it. And uh, it was just, it was girthy.